So it's been a while since I talked about mechanical keyboards in general, but of course I do have you know a mechanical keyboard collection, and uh, I mostly have 60% keyboards. I'm a big fan of 60% keyboards. You know they're small, they look really sick on your table, and of course um you know it uh, doesn't take that much space in your gaming rig. So I really really like um 60% keyboards in general. I do have several of them, and of course for today I'd like to share with you guys uh, my top five. Um, 60% mechanical keyboards in my collection. So now let's rank it from 5 to 1. So actually, I like this all, but uh, you know, we're gonna choose what's the best one for me. So the number 5 for me is actually the Poker 2. So this one is actually on the cheapest here in this group. It's just around um, $80. So if you're on a budget, this is definitely something that you should consider. So actually, um, this is all stock. It includes, um, you know, um, different colors of uh, keycaps. Um, this one is different, but uh, the others are uh, included in the kit so it's a 60 percent keyboard on um, the left right and up button for those who's not using 60 percent is here in the j i k and l actually for me i got used to it and actually even sometimes i am faster now with a 60 percent keyboard when i'm coding no f1 keys of course and of course you don't have you know the um, arrow keys at the bottom you have it in functions um so poker 2 is definitely um you know one of the more popular um 60 percent keyboards very very usable so this one includes PBT keycaps. It does have plastic build though, but a really nice um quality in terms of the plastic. It doesn't have a riser though, but you have that kind of angle which makes it you know easier for you to type on. And I do also personally have a, you know a wrist press for me for 60%. So it's very very comfortable for me to use. I use a blue switch on this one, and I use it for gaming as well. So Poker 2 um definitely highly recommended. Also uses USB C, so that is nice. That's why this is uh, one of my daily drivers because I do have a lot of USB C peripherals but for me i would like to um, improve the keycaps on this but yes um the default keycap is pretty good still it's pbt so that is our number five the poker two now let's move to the number four and that is the leopold f660c so this is a toe prey kind of keyboard so toe prey is different from usual switch um it's i would say more tactile it's more quiet and more tactile it's more of like a more tactile brown switch so this is how it sounds like you know the thock is really different from your usual um cherry mx so 60 percent you have that arrow keys here at the side but you don't have you know full numpad you don't have also f1 keys and again you are you know layered with function keys and really really nice build on this also and uh, as you can see guys it looks more of a you know an old school um kind of keyboard and really nice build nice plastics i would say the plastics here are better compared to um, your poker too. This more expensive. This around um two hundred dollars, but definitely in terms of the overall feel, the typing feel is really really nice. So the keycaps that included is also PBT, and uh, this is more thick PBTs compared to your poker too. Definitely more high quality PBT, and uh, yeah, the typing experience here I would say is better compared to um your usual um Cherry MX. Of course, that is personal preference, but I really really like typing, especially coding in tall prey switches. So you have a right here at the bottom which um, provides very good angle also you have an angled side here as well to make it um you know more comfortable to type on you have mini usb here so you know not your um usb c this kind of an old model uh, but yes definitely um you know this very very solid keyboard i don't use this for gaming though so if you're gonna game i don't prefer toe praise i prefer still cherry m maxis uh, but for typing and of course coding this is really really nice this is our fourth in the list all right, third for me in the list is another poker guy. So this is the poker three. So actually, I actually didn't get the RGB version. I don't like RGBs. Um, among all my favorite keyboards, there's no RGB. And the main selling point here, upgrading to the three from the two. The case, guys, is a metal kind of case. This just feels really, really solid. Um, you know, if there's a rubber in your house, this is something that you can hit your rubber with. Really, really solid build on this. I got the clear. So this is harder to type on compared to your browns, which is something I like because I'm kind of a hard typer. Um, so yes, clears is not for everybody. For light typers, this might be fatiguing for you to um, use. Uh, yes, I changed the keycaps here. I always do like, you know, a kind of different color keycaps. And yeah, this is very, very weighty. A lot more weighty compared to your Poker 2. So in terms of the typing experience, this is more solid compared to your Poker 2. This is the sound that you're gonna get. Um, it does have different sound also. It does have a more 
um, kind of tight sound compared to your poker too. There's less noise here as well. So of course, 60% also your arrow keys are here at this side. I got used to it already. I type really, really fast and this one. And another thing that I like in pokers in general is the customizability. But there's a lot of layers here. Um, it's another video um, to modify your pokers. So yes, a lot of customizability. One of the you know um, most supported um, keyboards in the community. So there's a lot of things that you can do with the poker. You cannot go wrong with pokers in general. So next in our number two, and this is the HHKB Bluetooth. So this is actually more expensive compared to our top one. It's around $300, definitely in the more expensive side. This is my most expensive keyboard. Um, but yes, this again, Topre switch. And, and for me, frankly, this is more superior switch-wise to the F660C. I like the typing experience here better. This is a more... I would say more pleasant, more satisfying um, kind of Topre switch. And I also did like, you know, that plastic on plastic kind of sound. The thock here is just, just really uh, otherworldly for me. Um, so yes, this plastic in build and this expensive because there's a wireless keyboard. But as you can see guys, there's a lot of keys that's missing here. So yes, this is definitely not for everybody. You need to get used to it. The PBT keycaps here are again really, really nice. And I also usually like to um, mark um, my arrow keys here. But the arrow keys here actually are not the most intuitive to use. Uh, but I actually got used to it already, but uh, you know, it will take some time. Uh, but definitely, yes, um, this is a light um, keyboard. So yes, um, you know, typing experience here, I would say one of the best. Um, but of course, um, this came in top two because you cannot use this for gaming. Um, you know, there's limited uses of this for me, frankly. So I use this for coding. I use this for, of course, um, usual um, kind of typing and uh, when I'm typing some word essays. If I'm writing, I'm using this, but of course for gaming, this is not something that I can use, but definitely yes, this is one of the best keyboards that you can get around. Really, really nice, really, really solid. But of course, definitely if you prefer Topre, um, not everybody prefers Topre, but yeah, this is one of the best Topres that you can get around. And of course, now goes to our top one recommendation. And actually this is one of my daily drivers as well. And this one is actually not that expensive as well so this is the philco minila air um so it is a blue switch that i got and um Philco really, really makes great products. I'm really a big fan of Philco in general. This one feels really, really solid. So it's made of plastic altogether, but uh, this one is really, really weighty. One of the heaviest actually in this group. So even if it's plastic, it feels really, really solid. So of course, I already changed the keycaps on this to BBTs and I got the blue version, um, Sherry MX Blues. But the blues here are different compared to the other blues that I have here in this channel. The blue switch here is a... Uh, I would say more tight, a uh, more smooth kind of blues. So maybe it's uh, the old Cherry MX blues. Um, the recent ones I didn't really like, but this one is different. Um, they tune this differently. So it's more smooth, it's more tactile, um, it's less noisy. And of course, the layout there is different. As you guys can see, you have arrow keys here. And of course, you have function keys as well. You have a different layer here also. Um, so yes, uh, you know, full functionality with your Manila Air. And what's uh, good here is, of course, this is also wireless. So this around $120 or maybe $100. I actually got this for $90, I think, on sale. Uh, but this full wireless, you cannot use this wired. Uh, but uh, the battery life here takes a long time. And definitely, yes, the typing experience really, really nice on this. Really, really versatile. So what I like about this, um, that's why I chose it over the HHKB is, of course, you can also use it for some gaming. Um, so it's really, really versatile. So gaming, um, you can use it for some work. Also, um, you can use it for coding as well because the layout is really, really functional. So yes, the Philco Minila Air is our top one. This is my favorite. 66% keyboard even if it's not you know the most expensive keyboard sorry right, that is our look and 60% keyboards in general so of course definitely it will be up to you if you like 60% keyboards but uh, hopefully if you are into that um this list will help you in your purchase decision um, but of course if you learned something leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future do you have additional questions for other 60% keyboards here in the channel um, would you like uh, you know an individual review in each uh, mechanical keyboards I haven't done that especially for the Manila Air um, let me know also down in the comments below do you use a mechanical keyboard also what are you using let me know down in the comments below as well and of course make sure you follow me in my Twitch channel to watch me do some games as well and of course I'm gonna see you guys in the next video keep safe guys Bye-bye.